Hi everybody, welcome back to Fake It To Make It or Hi if you're new, I'm Katie. Today I am decorating my vertical spread and I think I'm going to use the Happy and Grateful and the Let Love Grow. I also grabbed some washi tape. I don't know if we'll use that or not. We'll see. Um, so let's just get started. How has everybody's week been? What did you do this weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Um... We did. We had lunch with my mom, which was really nice. My daughter and I. It was just kind of nice, a nice little girls out lunch, which we enjoyed. I think I might use some of these florals. Because I feel like that, especially with some of these colors, like this. Sorry, I'm like off camera here. This like... Yes, I think that will work. Okay. Also, I still have not got a new sheet of washi or a new sheet of wax paper. Sorry. Um, do I want to use any washi tape? Hmm. To be determined. So I think we're going to start maybe in this corner. Yeah, kind of. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll have it go over that. So, um, yeah, so we did that. We did a little shopping yesterday. It was a nice little, little girl stay out. Didn't, um, got some clothes and stuff like that. And like I said, had lunch with my mom, which was really nice. Um, some much needed, just some girl time. What else have we done? We did a little speed cleaning. Oh, I love all those little... I really like this book. It's so nice and neutral. You could really make it work with so many different things. Um, I think we're just going to go for some of these. Another one of these brown boxes. I'm off this Tuesday, so I definitely want um, a box over here for sure. Yeah, we did a little speed cleaning situation last night, which was good. Maybe I should put that like that. Yeah, I don't think I want it directly even. Um, what else? I did a little food prep yesterday. Um, cut up some fruit, things like that. Today we will be running to Target for a few different things. So it's just been kind of like a chill weekend, honestly. Not anything too crazy which honestly I appreciate let's see oh they have those quote stickers every day is a gift always be kind I kind of like this one it's always be kind yes throw that down there hmm is that too but I definitely have to white out the lines with this. I got this from the washi tape shop. This like geo came in a pack. So I am scrounging in my desk drawer for my my white. Um, this is the white out pen that I really like. It is the Uniball Signo, right? Yes, Uniball Signo. I get them on Amazon in a three pack. I, they are always linked in my videos. So if you're interested, I think it's like, I wanna say $6.99 for a three pack. And I've been using this one for months. And like you can tell, <laughs> like the ink is almost now finally out, but they last a really long time. I love those pens. Um, I would love to find maybe another quote for this side and just keep it like really light. Um, Oh, what are those? Be true, be you, be here now, be kind to you. Those are kind of nice, but I don't, that one was beige. I want something different. Here we go. Enjoy the little things. I don't want to bring black in though. Can you guys see what I'm looking at here? Sorry. Totally off to the side. So I'm just flipping through this maybe for another quote. I kind of like that create because I am using this as my social media planner. Mm -hmm. 
Let's relax. The future begins now. Every day is a fresh start. Yep, being grateful, balance to do. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back. I think I like that clear create, but I'm definitely gonna have to white out. I think we're gonna put it, oh, there or there? Kinda like it here. Throw that down here. Yeah, so today is just like kind of a um, easy day. Easy, it's Sunday when I'm filming this. Um, planning, just kind of doing some stuff around the house. Um, like I said, going, making a little target run. Just kind of getting ready for the week. And these are my favorite Sundays, if I'm completely honest. I am most definitely an introvert. And I love having um, time at home and I think too just being like a mom that works outside the home it just always is um, nice to have that time at home to kind of get caught up on home things so I always appreciate my, t my time home um, I am definitely a homebody especially in the winter I mean it's just kind of cold here it's like cold and kind of miserable outside so I really like how that looks because you have this like very feminine floral but then like this kind of geometric I like that like it all right what else I don't need a ton of stuff because like I said this is social media I don't need like a million boxes and all this other stuff um though maybe a couple bullets in a couple days would be nice. And this is, again, sorry, I have the sticker book off to the side. I finally started reading um, The Lazy Genius, which I'm really getting into. Just some of the stuff like she's already talked about, like just in the first couple um, chapters. I'm like, can 100% relate. So you guys have to let me know. I think I mentioned this in another video. If you've read this book, let me know what you thought of it. Um, because there's definitely, I think, I mean for men or women, but obviously I don't know the male perspective, but I think especially for women, because that's my perspective, um, there is definitely this push to kind of like do it all right like keep up and you have the like especially if you if you work outside the home too just because that's my perspective not saying like if you're a stay-at-home mom this also cannot be your perspective I just don't fully understand that perspective but as a as a wife and a mom who works outside the home like there's always like you have your work that um you know is this on your mind that you're keeping up with you have the emotional um, the emotional toll of carrying everything for your family, right? For the kids. Like you usually, as I feel like as a wife, like we have like the emotional, um, load from our kids as well. And so it just sometimes is a lot to try and balance everything, honestly. Um, so I'm going to put that right there so that line lines up, maybe. Yeah. And just keeping up with all the things. It can just be a lot. And so it's just interesting to me because... I don't know where I want the sticker, sorry. It's just so much to keep up with. And, you know, this, this idea that as a working mom, like, oh, you can have it all and you can have the perfect house and the kids and, you know, like all this stuff. And honestly, you can have some version. This is my opinion, strictly my opinion. There is, I feel like you can have some version of having it all, if that makes sense, right? Like, yes, you can work and have, you know, well behaved, well raised, um, well raised children. You can have fulfillment 
in your job. Um, you can have a lovely home. But I think that there's this push that you can have the perfect job. Everything in your home can be perfect and organized and immaculate and make the perfect dinners and go on the perfect vacations and have the, the perfect social life with your friends and go out. Like, there's all this, right? And it's like, that's not really true. I, I, I personally don't feel like that. Like, something has to give. You can't have everything in every aspect be perfect right like there's only like yes Beyonce has the same 24 hours in a day but there's still only 24 hours in a day this is something that's been on my mind lately um you know there's like this push of being productive in the hustle yes to, to all that to a point right but it's also okay to take time and for your house to not always be perfect right because again there's 24 hours in a day yes Beyonce has 24 hours too, but you know what? Like when you're a working mom and you have like your work, you have kids stuff or, you know, you have to drive them places and you have to cook and you have all these things to do. Um, there is a point where like you have to prioritize things, um, you know, to, to basically live your best life. And it's okay if everything isn't perfect. But I feel like we don't see that a ton. I think that it's pushed a lot that like if you aren't having this like picture perfect, Instagram perfect life that you're doing something wrong. Well, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I'm here to say that is not true. I'm here to say that it's okay that everything isn't done perfectly in every aspect of your life all the time because I surely am not. I mean, you see my planners, you know, I do. Like, I have these massive to-do lists. Not everything gets done on those to-do lists. And I talk about that when, you know, often. Um, is my house always clean? It is not. You know, it's decent. I, I, I do a darn good job trying to keep up with everything, but... Sometimes, like, there just isn't time in the day to, you know, um, do all the things. And honestly, I'm okay with that because, sorry, I'm looking for wherever I left those bullets. Because to me, I mean, again, it's, like, about prioritizing. My relationships with my kids and my family come first. So if me, I kind of want to there, but I don't know, is that two? Maybe we'll just put them down here. Um, you know, if I have something, say, I want to do but isn't necessarily necessarily a priority and one of my kids wants to spend time with me or talk to me, uh, nine times out of ten, those kids are coming first. You know, again, sometimes the other things have to come first because life, it's just the way that it is. But, um, you know, and it's all about priorities. And maybe that's not how somebody would prioritize their time, and, and that's fine. But you have to make those decisions for yourself. Um, sorry, I don't know what got me on such a deep topic. Maybe it's the book. Maybe it's a feeling lately like, oh, I don't know, like a little bit of that mom, working mom overwhelm, you know, where it's just the constant, like, go, go, go of life and not sure that you're doing enough or, or doing it right. Um, you know, all those things. I definitely feel that way. Um, I work a lot. My job requires a lot of me. Um, and so I definitely get like that, that working mom guilt. Let me know if you are a working mom, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure you do. I feel like this is a common, a very common theme for many of us. Which is, I guess, partially why it's on my mind. So, anyway, I guess I'm just here to say, like, whatever you're doing, it's enough. Because the idea of being perfect and doing everything perfectly and having the perfect home and, like, the picture-perfect life and all this, it's a sham. It's a sham, man. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say. Anyway. Um, this is the spread. Thank you for listening to me ramble on. I really appreciate it. Um, but it's just something that's been on my mind and my heart lately, I guess. So 
that's what we do over here. Um, we, we talk about these things. We talk about our weekend, frivolous things, deep things. Anyway, let me know. Leave comments down below. I love reading your comments. I love engaging with you guys. Um, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Um, I really like how the spread turned out. It's like nice and clean and simple and like feminine and like a little modern with that washi. I really like it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. You guys have the best week ever. Plan your best life not your perfect life. And I will talk to you later. Bye.